Here's an example of what your paper should look like for Cornell Notes for this section. How do you add and subtract monomials? Yesterday in class, we discussed what a monomial was, and we created some monomials on our own. Now I will demonstrate how to add and subtract monomials. Remember, like terms are constants or terms with the same variable raised to the same power. To review combining like terms, see Lesson 1-7. Here's our first example. We are going to add or subtract 4z to the 4th power minus 8 plus 16z to the 4th power plus 2. And on the right-hand side, I have all of the steps listed for you, so you can write those down. Uh, you must have the same base and same exponent to combine like terms, and that's just a reminder for you. So once again, pause this video, write down all this information, and then resume when you're ready to follow along with me as I solve the problem. Okay, let's go ahead and identify our like terms. We have 4z to the 4th, so a like term will have the same variable and the same exponent. And here we have 16z to the 4th. For negative 8, it's just going to be another constant or another number that goes with that, and that would be positive 2. So combining the z to the 4s, I get 20 z's to the 4 possible, right? Think of them as apples or think of it as Oreos. You have four, you add 16, you have 20. And then for the blue, we are going to subtract eight, take, or excuse me, take negative eight and add two and we get negative six. And here is our answer. Notice there are no other terms to combine. And here's our second example. Add or subtract 2x to the 8th power plus 7y to the 8th power minus x to the 8th power minus y to the 8th power. Now, remember, they must have the same base and the same exponent. So here we're going to take 2x to the 8th and negative x to the 8th would be the terms. So instead of rearranging, I'm actually just circling the terms. And for 7y to the 8th and negative y to the 8th, those would be the blue terms. So let's combine the red terms, and we have x to the 8th power, right? There's an invisible 1 here, so if I have 2 and I take away 1, I would have 1 left, and this is 1x to the 8th power. Uh, there's the invisible 1 there. Let's erase that. Okay, and for the blue terms, we're going to take 7y to the 8th and subtract 1y to the 8th, and we would have 6y to the 8th left. And here's a question for you. Can you combine the x to the 8th and the y to the 8th? Yes or no? Why or why not? Bring your responses to the class.